is the only banjo playing meeting facilitator in the world. <laughs> and did I, by the way, did I hear you say that you left some moonshine up for me, up here for me somewhere? <laughs> um, another round of applause, please, for Lisa Mount. And where's Carmen? Carmen Morgan, our two meeting facilitators. I also want to point out, and you've probably noticed, uh, that we've been videotaping and live streaming uh, the proceedings over these last few days. And so I just want to thank, from the bottom of our hearts, Vijay Matthew and Thea Rogers from HowlRound. <laughs> and also, I mean, how many meetings do you really go to where someone is literally capturing the proceedings through illustration? Lynn Carruthers. Got to give a big thanks out to her. Um, I also want to ask our Kansas City hosts, any of you who are still here, to please stand. You have been so incredibly hospitable. <laughs> and finally, I want to thank TCG's very own special cohort, that is our staff. If you're a TCG staffer, I see that most of you are standing already. Would you please <laughs> wave your hands? I can tell you there were some very long, long hours and, and um, just a really phenomenal sense of collaboration and sharing and it really was a very, very, very functional cohort, the TCG staff working on putting together this audience revolution. And I am so, uh, so grateful to you, as I know everyone in the room is. So we have come to the end of our three days together. And while I certainly can't top Lisa's musical recap, I want to widen the frame for a moment and remind you that today is World Theater Day. So this is our, yes it is, it's our annual celebration where theater people come together across the world as one big global cohort and celebrate the transformative power of theater. Um, this year, Chris, uh, Christoph Warlikowski, who's a great Polish theater director, gave the 2015 World Theater Day address. And what he did is he called for theater that is grounded in truth, reaching toward the inexplicable. And over the past three days, I think we've been doing just that, grounding our conversations in the truths of research, case studies, and model exchange, all the while reaching for that inexplicable moment of human connection that we seek to create through our work. So happy World Theater Day. Um, that's one thing I want to say to all of you. Also, I'm thinking back to um, the first, first night here and riding the bus to the Kansas City Rep. It seems like that was about a month ago. Um, but a colleague turned to me and said, if nothing else of note happens at this convening, that cohort building exercise alone was worth the trip. So he was speaking about the value of establishing shared purpose and that sense of trust and connection and how those cohorts were a microcosm of what we try to do in all of our audience engagement and community development efforts. It's bringing out each individual's most creative self in service to the community as a whole. But we know that that can't happen in just three short days. As Raymond Bobgan said in his session, time, time's intention equals depth. All we could do in our time here was sharpen your intentions and now it's on you all to give your time and go deep together. Our Audience Revolution Grant Program, which we talked about yesterday, is one way that we can support some of the ideas that come out of the cohorts and just out of being here over these past few days. So stay tuned on the Audience Revolution Grant Program. But it's not the only way. Um, we are, we're listening. Uh, TCG is, we, we want to know what you're thinking. Uh, the town hall that we just witnessed, I'm so glad that, that um, we had Ethan here to listen to that because in, in a way that's our public sphere of discourse where we have agreement and disagreement about what's transpired and it really gives us a chance to deliberate into the future. Um, but please uh, let us know 
what you think and how we can help serve whatever reckless dreams you cook up and what you want to scream to the world, what we should be screaming to the world together. Also, Ethan, um, you really cleared for us, and he's sitting right here, I'm so glad. Um, if you ask and you don't change when people answer, there's no trust. So at TCG, what we hope to do is model that process of ask, answer, change, and trust, because we believe theater can model that process and help bring about a truly equitable, participatory, creative democracy. So let us work on that together. We know it's not easy. As Martha Levy noted, it's Sisyphean, and we know our daily grinds are waiting for us back at our desks, waiting to be rolled back up the hill. But I encourage you on your trip home to use your workbooks we got those workbooks, and plot out immediate next steps so that the energy of our time together doesn't fade. Because, unlike Sisyphus, we're not alone. You've made new friends here. People have been referring to that, those friendships and connections as being some of the most important work that's happened over the last few days. And you've strengthened old relationships as well. So we are still that hairy band of revolutionary dreamers singing together, let the sunshine in. I'm not going to sing that for you. I don't have the banjo skills. Also, as Pastor Mike reminded us, we are cultural architects building spaces of communal healing to call a new world into being. Thank you for bringing your open hearts and questioning minds to the space of these three days, this time of reckless dreams, of ethics and antics, of coffee and barbecue, of banjos and accordions, of research and data, and of healing, and more healing. Together, we really can make a better world for theater and a better world because of theater. So thank you for being here. And once again, we will see you all in Cleveland. <laughs>